Hello and welcome to the world of building design. My name is Babak, uh, your host in this channel. Uh, this is tutorial number seven of Revit MEP. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to split the dock work in smaller sections and how to automatically size your dock work using the Revit MEP uh, sizing and analysis uh, command. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to also um, inspect our dock work to see the pressure loss uh, and total pressure and also the flow at each section of our dock work. So let's go to the project browser to the ceiling plan level one to see where we are so far. So we have developed uh, our supply and return dock work and the relevant diffusers, air supply diffuser and air return diffusers. Um, so I'm going to size the dock for downstream of this VAV box where my cursor is, uh, this main air distribution supply dock branch, and also the uh, you know the smaller branch docks connected to the diffusers. So in order to do that, uh, it's better for um, for um, having minimal error into the sizing process to split the long dock runs. So if you look at the dock work in here, we have a longer dock run here that, that is preferred to be split. So in order to split, you can, you can use the command called split and the short form of that command is SL. So I'm going to type SL and you see my cursor uh, symbol is changing and uh, the command saying select select an element to split. So uh, because I want to size the supply dock work, the blue section, so I'm going to split some of this dock work. For example, I'm going to put uh, one split in here. Remember that when we split the dock work, we, we want to split in the area where we have, uh, we have some air that is uh, distributed to some of these spaces and after that, we're going to split because the duct naturally needs to be sized to a smaller size when you have already distributed some air stream to, to the areas. For example, looking at this main supply duct work, uh, all up to here, you don't have any air distributed. So when it comes to this T branches, you're going to have two diffusers on the top and some diffuser on the bottom on this main line. So right after that, we're going to have already distributed some uh, supply air. So I'm going to split in here. I'm going to do the same by splitting, say, in here, because we have this air supply diffuser downstream of that. I'm going to split. I'm going to put another split right here and another split right here. Um, let's do another split, I would say, right here. I'm going to go with the split command again and see if I can split in here. Okay, I put another split there. Uh, okay, we should be good now. So I'm going to escape a couple of times. Um, so now, in order to start the dock size, if you remember in the previous tutorial, I showed you how to select a dock and an entire system. So entire system is basically a definition for all the connecting dock work, whether it's in the supply or return side of a dock system that are served from, the, from a common source. In this case, our common source is this VAV box, which is distributing the air into all this diffuser. So this is all going to be one system connected to this VAV box. So in order to select the entire um, dock work that we see here downstream of this VAV, uh, we don't need to do manual individual selection. Uh, the Revit software is, is a smart in that way that you can do that kind of uh, selection easily by hovering on one of your piece, uh, supply dock area and by pressing tab button multiple times you can get all of this system highlighted. And when you get all of this system highlighted, let's do it again. I'm gonna hover on this piece of dock, press on tab button two times, 
and all the system is selected. Once everything's selected, just do a left click. So your entire system is now selected. When you have your entire system selected, you have all of this uh, commands, modules for analysis uh, is activated on the top here. So I'm going to do the docked pipe sizing. So this command is where, where we're going to size this supply dock fork. Remember, we haven't sized this dock fork. We just drew uh, some dock fork based on the initial proposed uh, um, supply or return dock sizes that was provided by the equipment that we, we input into, into our model. So now I'm going to press on the dock pipe size. So you come with this, uh, you know, um, box where gives you different options for sizing of your dock fork in this proposal. Uh, for the purpose of this training, I want to just show you the velocity sizing type. Uh, so where you have the velocity, there are multiple options for dock sizing, where it's a friction type or equal friction, static regain. These are different methods of dock sizing. In this case, we just want to restrict the velocity in the entire dock fork. So by default, the Revit in the, in the SI unit or metric unit, it has 5.1 meter per second. Uh, as the velocity of air um, and we're going to keep that same setting this is a reflective of about a thousand feet per minute uh, of velocity of air we're going to keep that as it is and in the constraint uh, in the branch sizing uh, i'm not going to change any of this to different methods i'm going to go calculated size only we're going to look at the other options in the other more advanced tutorials so Based on that, I just go OK. So you see our dock sizes are changed. But one thing that shows an error here is this yellow area where, where there's an error and the error box is coming down. It says the tap must be attached to a dock. So we're going to have a look and see why this uh, there's a problem in here and why there's no attachment so what i'm going to do i'm going to go uh, escape while all of these new sizes are showing already i'm going to rectify the issue in here so i'm going to just do a left click on this little dock fork here and as you can as you can remember this dock fork let's let's click on this one has a 250 millimeter of round dock diameter. Uh, let's check this piece of our dock that is sized to this a smaller size. As you can see, this is a 20, 225 by 225 uh, rectangular dock fork. So the, the, the height of this dock is a smaller than the, the round dock that is attached to it. So to, to rectify this issue, we have to we have to reduce the size of our round branch dock that is connected to this rectangular dock. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the uh, fire damper that we have drawn from before. I'll delete that. Uh, as you see, this round dock is uh, 250. This is larger than the size of this rectangular. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually go ahead and instead of deleting this, go ahead and reduce the size of this dock fork, say to 210. Once I reduce the size, let's you see, we have another uh, small piece in here, but I'm not gonna touch that. So I'm gonna put that fire damper back, I'm going to go back to system, uh, as you remember from previous tutorial to dock accessory. And then I go and select the fire damper In here, I put the fire damper right there, but sorry, I think that's a mistake. We have to remove the fire damper and instead we go with our balancing damper. Let's go back to dock accessory, go to standard round balancing damper. So I'm gonna go to the center line here, left click, 
and now I have my uh, my bouncing damper right here so now as you can see we don't have that error shown anymore so we have sized this dock fork and now what I'm gonna do I want to inspect this dock fork to see um, uh, you know the, the status of the dock fork and how the flow and pressure works around here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select this whole system one more time by hovering on one of this docked and pressing on the tab once and twice once everything selected downstream of that VAV left click basically we select everything and then now our system inspector um, command is now activated remember that command is not activated let's test that command is not activated or analysis is not activated unless you select the system you want to either size or you want to analyze or inspect so again tab tab select everything go to system inspector press on system inspector this little um, box comes up you press on inspect when you press on the inspect you see there is a little flag comes up and that shows the dock section we are hovering on the flow of the air in that section of the dock and also the static pressure at the, at the very same location where I'm standing for, uh, for that, that piece of dock and also the pressure loss so basically the red uh, arrows show that this line is a critical path all up to here because uh, its, its pressure is beyond the requirement and it's going to be uh, the most pressure loss you're going to have in your system is going to happen in this line where it's a uh, arrow red are showing here so in this line you're safe and that's just because the size of your dock should be okay so in the future tutorial you will learn how we have to work with our size so that uh, we have to remain within the pressure loss requirement of the entire system as we design a dock work system and once you looked at all the sections for your inspection purpose let's have a look at different sections and remember you, you see the flow here and, and that's a reflective of a flow that, that is going to serve all the units for example in here while I'm hovering here it shows uh, 12 it shows uh, 940 liter per second air that's supposed to go to all this four diffuser down here and and as you remember each of our diffuser was supposed to provide 235 liter per second to the space and at, at any point you would see the the total flow supply to to those diffusers Okay, so once you inspect your system, you go finish, and that's how you size the dock fork automatically based on velocity or friction loss or other preferred method uh, on the Revit. And also, you, you, you learned how to split the dock fork and inspect the dock fork. Thank you very much for watching this video and this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe and uh, please. Uh, press the the ring button next to the uh, next to the subscription uh, so that uh, you get the new videos as soon as they are posted thank you